Susan Shannon. If someone is beginning to integrate coupons into their savings strategies, what would be the top five items you would suggest they concentrate on? Oh, this is a great question. This is a great question. It's called, how do you start? How do you start? Okay, so how do you start? Okay, that's a good question, Shannon. I recommend, like I said, um, starting and just sticking to a budget as the first thing. Mm -hmm. um, I think so many people see these reality shows of, you know, um, extreme couponing and they want to go out and get thousand dollars worth of stuff for a penny and you know that's just not realistic so setting a realistic expectation mm -hmm. is key there are certain things I'm talking specific items that you once you start learning how to budget and coupon there's there's five specific things that you will get for free almost all the time or close to free uh, the first one is pasta like spaghetti um, any kind of spaghetti is something that um, you should be able to get for free all the time Toothpaste. I haven't paid for toothpaste in seven years. Wow. I just that's just one thing you can between always get Between the sale free. and the store and the coupon you're right, holding. Right, between the sale and the coupon, you can always get free toothpaste. Um, also, uh, dental floss is another thing that I haven't paid for in seven years. Um, and I have like 20 in my house because <laughs> I, I think of like craft ways to use them now with my kids' crafts because <laughs> I have so much of it. Um, also, uh, laundry detergent is a great way to save. So you can save easily 75% off your laundry detergent every month. And then also um, canned beans I can get for close to free a lot as well. So those mm -hmm. are kind of five things to focus on uh -huh. when you first get started. Um, started with, with you know the items that you want to start buying. But then I talked about the third budgeting system. You know, just starting off really, really simply. And meal planning is key as well.